The love of God is divine, it's true and everlasting. The Bible even goes as far as stating that God is love. So great is his love that John 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The love of our Almighty God, Jehovah, is characterized by grace, forgiveness and mercy. His divine love is eternal and it's unconditional. I say this so that you may recognize the love of the Lord over your own life. A love that protects you always. A love that always provides for you. A love that forgives you. So I encourage you to praise him for his consistency. His love is steadfast, it's unmovable and never changing. Even when we are incapable of living consistently in a manner that is pleasing to him, he is still loving and righteous to us. So as we acknowledge our own inconsistencies when it comes to living righteously, we must ask for forgiveness. And then we must also praise him and give him thanks for his goodness, for simply loving and caring for us daily, even through our own inconsistencies. So as you end your day, I encourage you to take time out and just say thank you Lord. We must thank him because we are truly blessed that his love for us never changes. And with that said, let us pray. Dear Father, you are the King of my heart. You are my Saviour, Lord Jesus, and out of love you came to this earth and you were crucified on a cross, so that I may be saved. I praise you for such a deep supernatural love that I could never repay. How great is your love, O God, that you gave your only begotten Son so that I should not perish, but have everlasting life. Your love amazes me today. Your love is incredible. I thank you for your word that tells me in Jeremiah that before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. May your name always be praised for such a love. I thank you for meeting my greatest need, which is to be loved unconditionally. You are a God who knows all. You are a God who sees all. All that is done in the light and all deeds and thoughts in the darkness. And regardless of knowing my most shameful secrets, you still decided to offer me a perfect, sacrificial and eternal love. You decided to offer me grace and mercy in spite of my faults. You decided to show me a powerful love, though you know me inside out and you know every area that I fall short. And for that King Jesus I am truly grateful. And just as Paul said in the Bible, in Romans 8 verse 38, I declare that I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us 
from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you for holding me together each and every day. Whenever I have needed you, you have been there for me. Whenever I have called your name, you have heard my cry. And I am grateful for all of the love, all of the mercy and grace that has been and that is shown to me, though I do not deserve it. Thank you for your faithfulness, even through tough times. To you alone be all of the glory, Lord. In your presence is the safest place that I can be in. And so I ask that as I go to rest tonight, may your presence cover me, for you are the God of grace. You are the one who knows my thoughts and my feelings, the one who sees our deepest desires. And in your divinity, Lord, you still understand my weariness and you still hear my cries. And so I am grateful to be able to call on your name and it's a privilege to be saved, to be loved and to be cared for by you. May you walk beside me every day, Lord Jesus, for you are a constant friend and may your presence surround my home and stay with me all through the night and always. Only in you do I place my belief and confidence for all things because you have proven yourself time and time again to be a God who I can depend on. I pray that a divine and holy peace, just like a river, may overflow in my soul. As I rest and sleep tonight, I pray for peace and also protection. I pray and invite the Holy Spirit to always be with me. Even as I pray, I ask that the Holy Spirit will always be with me. I pray that he will help me to trust more and worry less, to have more faith and no fear, to have more belief and no doubt. I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me to know the Lord better, help me to get to know his word and his promises for my life. I pray that you, Holy Ghost, will even help me to put Jesus Christ first in every area of my life. I pray for the grace to live one day at a time and rejoice in each new day. Help me not to worry about tomorrow, but instead to focus on what you are doing in my life right now. I place my trust in your promises, I place my trust in you, so that you will take care of all of my burdens. You Lord can meet every one of my needs, whether they are financial, relational, physical or emotional. You alone can satisfy every single one of my needs, Father. And so you are worthy to be exalted. And I uplift your name on high, Father. All the glory belongs to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.